Okay, well, after the show, because I was just sitting there just shivering. <laughs> Behind the screen, you know, I was actually shivering the whole time. I came out here and I do have a fever. I have a 100.1 and my usual temperature is 97.8 instead of, uh, I mean, 97.6 instead of 98.6. Mine always runs one degree less. So 100.1 is, yeah, I've got a bit of a fever. My fingers feel cold, but inside I've got this jacket on and I'm just shivering. Um, so on that note, you know, my, uh, Shabu Shabu sauce came today. Um, something that I really love. Uh, of course, <laughs> the first thing in it, it's got uh, sugar, sugar, and corn syrup. Sugar and corn syrup. Yeah, nice, huh? Um, Yeah, uh, alcohol. Mm. So anyway, it's, uh, but when you use it, you use very, very little, you know. Uh, you have for shabu shabu, usually it comes with very thin sliced meat and you get uh, usually cabbage and onions and um, Cabbage, onions, mushrooms. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, cabbage, onions. Usually it's the green onions. Mushrooms, yeah. I may be forgetting something because it's been quite a while since I've had it, but uh, when I have it today, it's going to be just the meat and it's only going to be dipped in there like this. I mean, just barely a touch it's not going to be soaked in there um, but it will give it some flavor so I'm going to make the uh, abbreviated shabu shabu okay because I have just been craving it for so long um, I wish they would make it without any kind of sugar or any of that type of thing. Um, but unfortunately, most of the things you get from Japan and uh, sauces from Japan and from China, they all have sugar, soy sauce, etc. cetera. Um, things that really I cannot have um, shouldn't have, <laughs> but like I said, I have been so, so hungry for this that I am going to have a little, and like I said, when I dip it, it's going to be the little edge of it dipped in about that much. That's it. Just enough to get a little bit of flavor on it. Um, now one thing I really did love with it, and of course I'm not going to have it, is the Napa cabbage. You know, I did really love to have shabu shabu with the Napa cabbage and things in it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not, not going to have that because it's got too much roughage and um, yeah. So we'll see how it goes tonight. I did get the thinnest sliced meat that I could get. Um, so I am going to try this and see how it goes. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised this has as much sugar in it as it does. You know, like I said, I love Chinese food. I love Japanese food. But 99.9% uh, .9 of them I cannot eat, okay? can't because of the things that they put in there.
And of course, when I'm watching the videos of the van life, or they call it car life, in Japan, they're always cooking <laughs> these wonderful dishes that my mouth is watering and I cannot have any of it. Ah, uh, it's torture, I tell you, it's torture. So anyway, that's what's going on here. I'm going to go in there now. I turned it up to 80 in here, um, closed the back door, and uh, I am going to go and um, take a uh, soak in the, um, go take a Epsom salt soak so I can defrost a little bit um, because it's definitely not fun sitting and shivering all night. Okay. So I just wanted to share that, you know, the update, what's going on. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, definitely it is not fun when you're having um, some type of infection going. Now I know I have an infection because I, like I said, I had that tick bite. I've had the um, Morgellons and they've never given me anything for it. So yes, I, I, my body has had a long-term infection going. And uh, the diverticulitis just put everything over the top. Yeah. So anyway, wish me luck, I'm going in. I, I so want to get in the hottest bath I can stand and just defrost for a little while. Oh my goodness. Shivering, shivering, shivering. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed Hogali today. Um, you know, I do try to make it because I've made that commitment to Hogarth. So I do try, no matter what, to, to show up unless there is absolutely reason I can't, like when I had my total thyroidectomy, I couldn't speak. <laughs> I was kind of, kind of a killer for that, <laughs> okay. And there was one other time, I can't remember what it was, but something, oh, COVID. When I came back with COVID, yeah. And I had to miss one of the Hogarth um, sessions. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Wish me luck. I hope this turns around soon. So on that note, I'll leave that here, and we'll see you online.